From field and farm to our kitchen table, every year we spend billions on fruit and veg. But amongst the farmers producing, there is growing anger. Many calling for a toughening of the law, claiming supermarkets aren't being fair when buying British. It's just knocking the lifeblood out of British agriculture. We have an industry that is on its knees, but farmers don't have the confidence to invest. They have no faith in the length of their relationship with their major buyers. More than 100,000 have signed a new petition, calling on the government to change the current grocery laws to ensure that supermarkets buy what they committed to buy, pay on time and agree fair specifications, like the size and shape of fruit and veg. Strained relations between farmer and supermarket are nothing new, but rising costs in farming and pressure to keep consumer prices low are exacerbating the problem. This British potato grower had to throw out 60 tonnes of salad potatoes after a major British supermarket cancelled the order. Basically, it came to harvest time. We got the potatoes out of the ground, harvested them, and then we were, at that point, informed that they'd been delisted, i.e. they weren't on the variety list that the supermarket were wanting to take any longer. It, it's frustrating because there's a, there's a lack of communication and, and also um, powerlessness. It was the last straw. He no longer sells to supermarkets. Essentially, farmers say that the relationship they have with supermarkets simply isn't balanced. Discrepancies in what passes quality control from one harvest to the next and simply not knowing what supermarkets are going to order until quite late on in the season is making the business of farming increasingly difficult. But those representing supermarkets deny retailers are not giving farmers security. It's just not true. I mean, supermarkets have very, very long-standing relationships with their direct suppliers. Now, it may be that the farmers don't always have a contract with the, supply, with the supermarket directly because they may go through a middleman. That could be a processor. It could be a packer. But those packers and processors are actually quite large businesses, and most of those will have had long-term relationships with supermarkets. The government says it is committed to tackling contractual unfairness in the agri-food supply chain. It's launched a public consultation and the petition will be debated in Parliament in January. Campaigners say there is no time to waste, claiming nearly half of British fruit and veg farmers fear they'll go out of business next year if reforms aren't made. Dan Whitehead, Sky News.